Hey guys, welcome back to Spoto Channel. It's no secret that employers have struggled to hire and retain qualified talent in recent years, a situation made all the worse since the pandemic. A survey was conducted by Global Knowledge, a company that teaches technology skills. It found that 50% of hiring managers felt that recruiting is a difficult task. Finding qualified candidates for highly skilled and specialized positions is a major problem. The same study found that 80% of North American IT departments have skills gaps. Opportunities abound, it is clear. How can you get noticed and land your next career breakthrough? You can demonstrate your skills by getting an IT certification. Yes. Certifications can validate your IT skills and experience to show employers you have the expertise to get the job done. You can get certified in skills you already have or skills you'd like to put to use in your career. Whatever your reason, certifications are a great way to strengthen your resume and set yourself apart from other candidates in a job search. Let's go back to our theme. These are the top 8 IT certifications that IT professionals should hold, according to the IT Salary Report from Robert Half. No matter if you are just starting out or have been working in the industry for over 20 years, there is a certification that will help you increase your salary and improve your career. Number 1 AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. The average annual salary for AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is $154,156. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification is an entry-level exam for cloud professionals to validate your knowledge of cloud, specifically using Amazon Web Services. The certification proves your knowledge of the fundamentals of IT services and how they function in the AWS cloud platform as well as your knowledge of core AWS services, use cases, billing and pricing models, security concepts, and how cloud impacts business decisions. You'll be tested on cloud concepts, security and compliance, technology, and billing and pricing. The exam is formatted with 64 multiple choice or multiple response questions and it's recommended to have at least 6 months of experience with AWS Cloud before earning the certification. Number 2 Certified Information Security Manager, CISM. The average annual salary for CISM is $129,000. The ISACA's Certified Information Security Manager, CISM, Certification covers information security governance, a topic that is a growing concern for businesses globally. The certification is designed for IT pros who work with or manage IT security and want to demonstrate their expertise in information security governance, information risk management, information security program development and management, and information security incident management. It's recommended to have experience in as or IT security. The certification is aimed at those working in IT who have an eye on the management track. Number 3 Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert, CCIE. The average annual salary for CCIE is $127,000. The Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert, CCIE, certification is the highest level of certification you can reach in Cisco's program. The expert level certifications are offered in specialty areas, including enterprise infrastructure, enterprise wireless, data center, security, service provider, and collaboration. Once you have passed your CCIE exam in your topic of choice, you will have reached the highest level of Cisco certification currently available. Before you can earn your expert level certification, it's recommended to have at least five to seven years of experience in the certification subject. Number 4 Certified Information Systems Security Professional, CISSP. The average annual salary for CISSP certification, $118,000. The Certified Information Systems Security Professional, CISSP, certification offered by the ISC, squared to demonstrates your knowledge and abilities with IT security and information assurance. The certification covers topics such as organizational structure, security and risk management, asset security, security operations, identity and access management, IAM, security assessment and testing, and security architecture and engineering. You'll need at least five years of cumulative, paid work experience in two or more of the eight domains included in the ISC, squared CISSP Common Body of Knowledge, CBK. 
you may be able to satisfy one year of experience with a relevant four-year college degree or if you hold an approved credential. Number 5 Project Management Professional, PMP. The average annual salary for PMP certification is $109,000. The PMP certification is offered through Project Management Institute and is targeted at advanced project management professionals. The certification covers the fundamentals of project management, including the five main stages of a project's life cycle. Initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, and controlling and closing. To take the exam, you'll need at least a four-year degree and three years of experience in project management. 4,500 hours of leading and directing projects and 35 hours of project management education. If you have a secondary degree, you'll need 5 years of experience, 7,500 hours leading and directing projects, and 35 hours of project management education. Number 6 Information Technology Infrastructure Library, ITIL. The average annual salary for ITIL is $100,000. The Information Technology Infrastructure Library, ITIL, certification scheme consists of several certifications to validate your skills and knowledge using the IT management framework. The certification scheme offers two designation paths to choose from, Managing Professional, MP, or Strategic Leader, SL. You can choose one path or complete both to earn the ITIL Master Designation. To start, you'll first need to pass the ITIL Foundation exam that covers the basics of the ITIL framework. Number 7 Cisco Certified Network Professional, CCNP. And the average annual salary is $98,000. The Cisco Certified Network Professional, CCNP, certifications will be the next step on your Cisco certification journey after you earn your CCNA. With CCNP, you can choose to be certified in Enterprise, Data Center, Security, Service Provider, Collaboration, Cyber Ops, or DevNet. You'll need to pass an exam at the CCNP level to move on to the final expert level of certifications. It's recommended to have at least 3 to 5 years of experience in any certification path you choose. Number 8 Certified Ethical Hacker, CHE, and the average annual salary. $95,000 offered through the EC Council. The Certified Ethical Hacker, CHE, certification demonstrates your ability to find vulnerabilities in computer systems and to prevent hacking. As an ethical hacker, you're someone who uses the same skills, techniques, and knowledge as a malicious hacker to help establish better security measures to prevent future attacks. Ethical hackers are responsible for finding weaknesses in the organization's networks and systems, and then use that knowledge to protect the company against potential threats. The certifications I talked above show that cybersecurity and cloud computing, networking are key areas in which certifications are highly sought after. Certifications can help professionals gain better job opportunities and higher salaries. Get the study materials from SPOTO today and choose the direction you wish to go in your career. If you want to prepare and pass the exam, check SPOTO official website. We have sure shot valid exam material to help you prepare and pass the exam on the first try. SPOTO provides candidates with the latest and 100% valid exam questions to help candidates pass the IT exam. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for your time in watching. I really appreciate if you can subscribe our channel and give me a thumbs up to the video, which allows my video reach out to more people just like you. If you need my help, you can reach me on the WhatsApp.